like when a fire alarm sounds. You must leave the building immediately. Walk calmly to your nearest exit. Do not stop to collect personal belongings. Do not wait for others. Go straight to your designated assembly point. Wait for help to arrive. Fires take hold in a matter of minutes. It's vital you act calmly and quickly. And stay safe at uni. In your accommodation, you are not only responsible for your own safety, but also for the safety of the people you live with. Here are some simple steps you can take to avoid a fire starting in your accommodation. Okay, so here we are in a typical student's kitchen. And as we look across and we go to the cooker, which is one source of ignition, we can straight away see the tea towel left on top of the cooker. So it's important that these things are not left on cookers. They're placed in a safer environment or in a cupboard. The most common thing that we seem to come across is the grill pan. But you can see it's slowly building up and we do get sometimes where this is an excessive loading of fat there. And if not cleaned, the fat will build up. If it's left unattended, we will then get a fire occurring. The hygiene is not really the issue. The, the issue in fire safety is that there is a build-up of a, a source of fuel, which in this case is fat. And once this fat gets to a significant temperature, it will just spontaneously burst into flame. We always hear about the bread being jammed in the toaster, creating smoke. As we said before, the heat detector in the kitchen won't do anything about it. But then as soon as the doors open to the kitchen, out goes the smoke into the corridor and bang, we get an unwanted signal. One of the most serious issues that you can come across is now the detector head being covered up by a plastic bag. The equipment that's designed to give the early warning not only to the occupant but to other occupants of the block that a fire has been discovered cannot work. Okay, here we have it. Fire door keeps shut. A common sign that you see on lots of doors in all student accommodation blocks. It's imperative that you follow that instruction. This door is there for your safety. Here we have a typical fire pump that may be actually provided in your hall of uh, residence. The most important part about this is to understand that these are here for safety reasons. If these extinguishers have been tampered, this small fire now is going to intensify into a large fire and you can now start to lose parts of the block, which could also incur you losing parts of your personal belongings. OK, well that's the tour of a typical student accommodation block where we've just really touched on most of the common fire hazards that you can come across and what we can do to prevent those turning into either actual fires or unwanted signals. So all we ask now is that you apply common sense and then that keeps you safe and us happy. So remember, never leave cooking unattended. Do not wedge fire doors open, they must be kept shut. Never tamper with smoke detectors or firefighting equipment. Ensure you know your evacuation route and assembly point. Some of the banned items at the University of Leeds include candles, heaters, chip pans, fairy lights, electrical items that do not meet UK safety standards. Always evacuate the building when an alarm sounds, even if you think it's a false alarm. Students and residences on campus should report the fire alarm activation to university security, followed by the fire brigade. Students and residences off campus should report the fire alarm activation to the fire brigade, followed by university security.